Hi, boys and girls. I hope everybody is well. We're going to do a big flower painting in the style of one of my favorite artists, Georgia O'Keeffe. This is a picture of Georgia O'Keeffe. When she was much older, she lived in Taos, New Mexico, and she used to love to go out into the desert and paint whatever she saw there. Here's a little biography of her. She was born November 15, 1887 on a wheat farm in Prairie, Wisconsin. Georgia O'Keeffe developed a curiosity about the natural world and an early interest in becoming an artist. She liked to paint flowers like many other artists, but their flowers were usually painted small. Here's a picture of his still life which is a vase filled with lots of flowers in the style that was painted back in Georgia O'Keeffe's time. And you can see that the flowers were quite small. Georgia wanted people to see the real beauty of the flower. And here's what she said. If I could paint the flower exactly as I see it, no one would see what I see because I'd paint it small like the flower is. So I said to myself, I'll paint what I see, but I'll paint it big, and they will be surprised into taking time to really look at it. She wanted people to really look at the flowers and see them for their beauty. Here are two examples of Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings. This one is called The Red Poppy, and you could see it fills up the space here, it actually fills it up. Let me just cover one so it doesn't get confusing. This is her red poppy, and it's a huge painting. And you could see the flower is so big, it doesn't even all fit on the page. It comes right off the edges. And we're really looking inside to see what it looks like. Here's another one. Here's a flower she made, and once again, you could see that it fills up the whole paper. It even goes off the edges, and we're looking right into the middle of the flower and seeing all the little interesting things that go on. So we're going to paint a flower in this style. Here's what you'll need. You will need some printer, you can use printer paper. It would be better to use the thicker paper from your paint pad, your sketch pad that I had asked you to get. The thicker the paper, it holds the water better, but you can use printer paper for this. And of course, you do need some kind of magazine or a bunch of papers to give you a nice, soft surface to work on. You need to have a pencil. For this, I would prefer that you have your oil pastels and make sure that there is a white one in there. Now you can use crayons, absolutely. If you only have crayons and no oil pastels, you can use crayons, make sure you have one that is white. And if you're using, when you are going to the second part, you need your watercolors. You need watercolors and, of course, a brush and a container with some water and a sponge or a paper towel, something that if you need to wipe off your brush. So these are the things you need, and let's get started. There are two parts to it. First, the part where you draw, and next, the part where we use the oil pastels and paint. Remember, we want our flower to explode on the paper, to be huge, big, actually come right off the paper. It's okay if we don't get all of it in, but that shows how big it is. So we'll start in the middle. In the middle, lightly with your pencil, press lightly. You can make either a big circle or an oval, lightly. Uh, there. Now we're going to make the petals of the flower coming out to all the sides. And we're going to make big 
wavy petals with a lot of life in them. So we'll start by making some big, these, this one's going right off my paper. And then another one, this one can go off just a little bit and coming back in. And then another one next to it, right off wiggly and wavy. And then another one coming right off the paper and then zipping back in. And then maybe a smaller one right in here. There. I have one, two, three, four, five petals now for my flower. And some of them are so big they go right off the paper. And some of them are almost bigger than the paper. And some are a little bit smaller. But nothing is very tiny or skinny or little. They are big petals for a nice big flower. Now we're ready to go in with our background color. That's what we're doing first. The background, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching, is the space behind the flower. Behind all the flower petals, there are spaces that are in the background. And I need you to pick a color for that. Stay with one color. Now for a minute, think of the color your flower will be or the colors so that you don't use the same color for the background. I think I will use, hmm, I'm thinking, uh, I would like this dark blue oil pastel for the background. So I'm going to start to color in with my oil pastel. Remember, I'm leaning on something soft and I'm going to start. Now, when you use oil pastels, boys and girls, you press hard. You want to leave a lot of oily pastel on your paper. You do not want it to look like this. This is not the way we use oil pastels. Uh -huh. We want to press in. I like to outline the shape a little bit first. And then I just go in and I press down until I have filled in all that area for the background. Okay. And you just work it, work the old pastel until you filled in all of your area. Okay, there we go. Fill in all of your area. It's okay to turn your paper around. I follow all around my flower right to the end of my paper, right to the edge. You notice I'm pressing down, I'm getting a nice, really rich, rich looking blue, beautiful blue. And I'm going to continue in all those spaces where my petals end. There we go, right to the edge, and I'm going to color that in. Okay, there we go. Remember, press on the oil pastel. If it should accidentally break on you, that's okay. You can still use broken oil pastels. Many artists like to break them anyway. They like to get in smaller spaces. And once again, get in between, in the space between my petals, which is my background. All right, there we go. And you continue to do that until you're finished with that. I have one here in blue. And here's one in a nice kind of purpley color. And I have one here in a sort of gold color. And when you're done with that, we'll be ready for the next step. And the next step is to take your white oil pastel. Or if you're using crayons, take your white crayon, but I'm using oil pastels. Now, I want you to go around wherever you drew your petal and in the middle. You go around that 
with the white oil pastel. And again, press down on it. This line will help keep your watercolors separated. Press down on it till you have done all of the spaces where your petals are. Make a nice heavy white line. Don't worry if some of your color smears onto it, it's okay. But this white line is really important. I know it's hard for you to see boys and girls, but I've gone over all my areas with my white oil pastel. I've done it all already. I went ahead a little bit so I would be ready for you. I did all of this with the white. Here we go. I'll do one more just to show you again. Here's your oil pastel. Hold it and press down. Press down. Leave a nice heavy white line all around. Okay. And when you're done with this part, it's time to get to the watercolors. So I'm going to put my oil pastels aside. I'm finished. And I'm ready for my watercolors, my water, and my brush. And we're ready to paint. Now this will keep the paint from going outside because oil pastels are made of oil and crayons are made of wax and oil and wax don't mix and oil and watercolors from the pastels don't mix so they will pull away from each other. So the only colors I would suggest you not paint the petals is black or brown. We're going to save that for the middle. But or any of your other colors, certainly you can paint. So let's get them ready. Put some water in each color just to get it started. There we go. Now here's a little trick for this technique. This technique is called wet on wet because we're going to wet the paper and of course we wet the watercolors. So you take some of your clean water, I dipped it in, I don't want to flood it but I want to get some water and just gently paint some water inside one of your petals. Don't worry, it won't hurt the, the oil pastel. You don't want to make a big puddle, but you want to get it wet. Now, what color shall I paint this petal? You can pick any color you want. Just because I use a certain color, that doesn't mean you have to. You can choose a different color. I think I'm going to work with yellow in here. So I dip my brush in the water and I get some yellow on my brush. Gentle, gentle. Don't squish the brush down, keep it up on its toes. And now I'm going to start to paint. The water that I put on here will help move the paint around. And you will see that white line keeps the paint from going over. Dip it in the paint again, get some more, and just finish painting in that lovely petal. Remember, you don't have to make it yellow. Now, I think I would like to put a little touch of another color in here. Not too much, just a little bit. Maybe a little bit of green, just a touch. You notice I didn't make it really heavy and I'm letting the water do its job of carrying the paint around. Now, water for my next petal, water first. Well, try and remember that water first, paint the water. If it's okay, if it's a little bit of the yellow in the water, it's okay. Whatever color you have in the water, it will look fine. And my next petal, a little yellow again, just gently paint it in and let the water that you put on it, move it around. There, a little more yellow. There we go. Just swish it around. Good. And maybe again, a little, little touch of green. 
toward the bottom. And I'm gonna let the water just sort of move the green around for me. Look how lovely that looks. Then again, get some water. By now your water is probably getting a little bit of color in it, but it's okay. You can still use it. Dip a brush, water first. Water. Remember, don't drown it. If you get too much water on it, I think I have too much, just touch your brush to your sponge or your paper towel and take off some of this water. Now I'm going to get some more yellow, dip it in the water, get some yellow, and there we go. And once again, just a touch, a tiniest, the tiniest, I dip it in the water and the, boop, just a tiny little touch of green. Not too much, and just touch the tip of my brush onto it and let the water take it along. Water, next petal, water first. Just move the water along. Yellow, dip it in, pick up some yellow, and paint. And paint. Hey, I'm touching. If I need more water in my yellow paint, just put a little bit on the brush and clean my brush and a touch of green. There we go, and let the water carry it around. My next petal, water first. Always say that to yourself with this technique. Water first, just brush it in the petal, the empty petal. There we go. Some yellow paint, water and paint, and just paint along. Dip it in the paint, go right to the edge because my petal goes all the way to the edge. There. And the, the crayon or oil pastel line will keep the paint inside. Dip the paint, a tiny touch of green, boop, little touch, and just put some on there and let the water carry it along. And my last petal, water first. Just gently, you notice I'm holding the brush very loosely, gently. I'm not pressing on anything. I'm just enjoying painting. All right, dip it in, pick up some yellow paint. Round and round we go, yellow, good. And just push the yellow paint around here. There we go. There we go. And remember, just the tiniest little, wash my brush, tiny touch of green, little bit. Maybe I'll make this one a little more. There, that's going up there. Oh, this is making lines, so I'm gonna just move it around a little more. You can always go back and do that. There. Now we're going to do the middle. Here's where I told you a little black and brown. A little bit of black. Yeah, not too much. If it's too watery, too much water, just there. And a little touch of brown, dip it in the water here. Dip it in the water, pick up some brown. There we are. And just let the two colors flow together. And there, we finished our lovely Georgia O'Keeffe style flower. Here's one that I made earlier with totally different colors. You could see that I dry a little bit lighter. Here's one I made with a blue background with red and orange petals. And here's, here's one that I started with a gold background and orange petals. So you can make your flower and your background whatever color you like. Okay, boys and girls, please remember to send a picture to me so I can see the beautiful work that you've done. And don't forget, this is my email, ellisrtsmarties at gmail.com.
you can send the picture to me and subscribe to my channel. Push the little boop, subscribe button and you'll see more lessons from me. So boys and girls, I can't wait to see your Georgia O'Keeffe flower. Bye.